In the Are We Crazy segment tonight, according to a study done at the University of Chicago, 35 percent, 35 percent of American couples who eventually marry met online. Wow. Question is, is that a good thing? With us now, attorney and psychologist Dr. Bonnie Forrest and from Los Angeles psychologist Dr. Wendy Walsh, the author of the book, The 30 Day Love Detox. All right. So good or bad, Dr. Walsh? Well, I think it's a lot better than choosing your mate because, through the distortion of a martini in a singles bar based on their legs. I mean, really, that was the tradition, right? So well, using well, let, me, let, dating, let, let me stop you right there. Why couldn't you be distorted with a martini on the Internet? <laughs> you certainly could. You okay, certainly could. so let's but throw that one out the window. All personality surveys. All right. So uh, what we have here is we have a machine that's basically bringing two people together. And you think that's a good thing? I think it's better than what we had. However, this doesn't guarantee a happier marriage or a longer marriage because we have this illusion in our culture right now that the key to successful marriage is choosing the perfect partner when actually it's about being the perfect partner, having good relationship skills. And so many kids today or kids, young adults, adults are children of divorce. Okay, but and the, the way they learn to resolve conflict why, is to leave. Why is the Internet introduction better than what you had? Why? Oh, because in these personality studies, you can actually find out people's values right away before you even click on them or say hello and buy them a drink. Uh, you know what their values are. Oh, I you see. Know if okay, they because have a religion, everything is in front smoke, of you. you know drink. That's kind of clinical, oh, yeah. though. All right. No, no, and you no, say, no. It is. I say no way. I say it's no better than a bar bill. Uh, uh, you know, I think the issue is is that. You get these online dating sites yeah. and they give you the illusion that they're thinking about this scientifically. They look at things like, is the person agreeable? Is the person optimistic? Those aren't necessarily things that contribute to a long-term relationship. But how would the Internet site even know that? Everybody lies on these things, don't they? Exactly right. <laughs> They're not going to say, look, I'm um, a sociopath and uh, I enjoy uh, killing animals. Well, I mean, you're not going to have that. <laughs> exactly well, Maybe right. on some websites you would, yeah. but not on these. No, no, I think that's right. And I think one of the other things, look, is it a great way to meet 200 people at one shot? You're not going to meet that many people in a bar. And it's and cheaper, so too. Absolutely. Right, you don't have to buy drinks. <laughs> you can have them, yeah. but you don't have to buy them. Well, maybe that's all right, so you, you are mixed and, and, and cautious about it, whereas, whereas Dr. Walls, you're more bullish on, on the uh, exactly. Internet meeting set. Okay. Now, exactly. And this study bill was funded by eHarmony.com, and they actually do very deep personality studies. It takes oh, like 40 on. minutes to sign up. Because 40, you're 40 a minutes? Lot of that you can't wow. That, that'll get to the root of the narcissism. Look, I'm cynical about Come all on. this because I, I believe that life should be lived in a very personal, face to face manner. I don't like the machines. I would never do this. However, I'm not going to criticize people who do, Dr. Forrest. I'm not. Because if it works for them, if they can rise into a comfort level on the Internet and then meet someone in person and it makes it a little bit easier because people are, are shy and, and some of them are insecure. And if this can help them, then I think it's a positive. It, it's just on the individual, correct? I think you're absolutely right there, and I bet Wendy would agree with us. If it slows things down, Bill, if it gives you a chance to get to know somebody, yeah, you chat and with understand them, right. their values more, understand what's important to them, some of those things are important. And you can be more relaxed, you don't have to worry about your shoes, and, and unless you're doing Skype, and then you have to do all this other business. But I, well, I do not danger, think, in the, when the next study is done five years or ten years from now, about all the people who got married on the internet. I think you're going to see the same kind of divorce rate and the same kind of problems that you saw in the traditional way of meeting people. Because up until like, after World War II, it was a lot of the marriages were arranged, were arranged marriages in the USA. It was like, you're going to marry this one because of the families. And that, that happened all over the place. Well, I think you're right. And it and also they have doesn't a lower choose. Divorce rate. Well, but, but Wendy, this doesn't choose on the things that actually predict. We know what predicts a good relationship long term how you handle conflict, for example. They aren't rating people on that. Now, when you get that study and you start looking at those factors, then I think we can start no, I think I think what the prediction is, is are you a good person and are you marrying another good person? But it's easily, you can be easily fooled in that situation. All right, ladies, as always, thank you. Wake up.